um, guys, oh, I love this. Hi, everyone. So today, I am going to do a makeup look for you guys. I'm gonna do just like a regular makeup look, like something you could use, you could do on a date night that's like a little bit out there but not crazy out there. Just something, you know, that anybody I feel like can pull off and look okay. I mean, and feel themselves and be confident. For today, I am going to use literally this palette. Oh my God, my Queen's palette. I am completely obsessed with this palette. I can't even begin to explain. This palette is so bomb. It just brings looks to life in a different way. I can honestly use this palette every single day. If you want a good palette that you can use for everything, right here. Let's get started. Oh my God, I'm nervous, but I'm excited. Like, yeah, all right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking and just hop right into the video, okay. To start off, I'm gonna prime my face. I am going to use No Pore Problem Primer by Touch and Soul. This primer is really good, it just lays really nicely on the face. So I'm just gonna take about one and a half pumps. A little goes a long way. So I'm gonna go ahead, prime that out. Face is primed. Feeling nice. Now for foundation, I am going to go ahead with my Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. I just started using this foundation and honestly, it's been one of the best foundations for me personally because I have a weird skin tone and this matches my skin perfectly. And then I'm gonna take my brush by It Cosmetics. I'm just gonna go in and blend that out. All right, so um, that's done, and I'm living for it. I have a little bit of spots here because I'm breaking out due to stress of being here. So I'm gonna put a little bit here, just like a tad, a tad right there. Mm, do I have anything else? No, just those two. Okay, we're gonna put that out. All right, so that is it for foundation. Next, we're gonna go with concealer. Also, disclaimer, I do my foundation first. I All right, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead with concealer. And for my concealer, I'm going to use my 24 hour MAC Studio Fix Smooth Wear Concealer. I use that in the color NW40. And for my foundation, I use 61NN, just. A little FYI there it's my first time so I will get the hang of this all right so let's go ahead and put that through we're gonna go in and I'm gonna blend this out with a beauty blender that is my concealer I am going to go ahead and set this concealer and for setting powder I am going to use my Kylie setting powder in the color translucent I actually really love this honestly a little bit like that, put that right there, the bottom. Oh, loving, 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 loving. So that's gonna be enough for that. However, I put some here, cause my laugh lines are on another level. I'm like, I'm thinking I should get like Botox or something there, cause when I laugh, it's just like, you see that? And it really, really starts to come through when I'm like out. And um, I've just been, had a long night with my friends. It just starts to peek through the pictures and it's so annoying. Ugh. So I put setting spray to like hold it there as long as it can stay. While this is setting into place, we are going to go to the um, guest of honor here. The eyes. Now, I have not practiced this look. I'm gonna wing something here. Well, to start off, I'm gonna use OG. I'm gonna put that all over my lid as a base. Let's go ahead and do that. 
loving this I should really like this like I love this color as a base now we're gonna work into the crease now as I said this is gonna be I think I've said this three times already so like let me shut up we all get it it's gonna be a natural look <laughs> I'm just nervous so I talk a lot when I'm nervous but I'm gonna go ahead with New Yorker it's kind of the same color but just to kind of darken a little bit the crease like the beginning of the darkening of the crease just to kind of take that and set that apart I'm gonna take that there put that in right there so that's gonna be the beginning of the darkening of the crease for us um, as you can see I'm just kind of getting like a little almond D shape kind of going for me here now with the same brush I'm gonna go ahead with 1988 and I'm gonna use that to darken my crease even more in there. Yes. All right. Yes. That's the look I was going for. So as you see, I took 1988 to kind of darken that crease a little bit more, but I, you can see the orangey tone from the New Yorker peeking out of it a little bit. This look is on to a good start. Now we are going to use Ugo that last color right there to darken the outer part of the eye to kind of give it that nice cut crease that we're looking for. Um, guys, benefits of having a dog. You know, gotta love them, right? My little princess. Can you see her? I don't know if you can see her. She's right there, she's sleeping. Ginger, come here, say hi. Say hi. She hates me. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead with Ugo. That right there. And just darken the corner of the eye. Really come through to cut this out. So that is a beautiful ending to this whole sequence that I'm trying to go for. I'm loving this. So I'm going to go ahead and do this on the other side. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'm going to use the same brush because I love this brush. Ah, Telling you. Testing me. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead with my finger. I was I learned this from a girl. Like I was getting my car washed one day, and she was doing her makeup for school, and she was just like, you know, sometimes when you don't have brushes, you should just use what God gave you. And I was like, what? And she's like, yeah, girl, just use your fingers. So I'm a big believer in using my fingers to like fix things that I feel like are a little out of place. This is going to be basically my crease. Um, obviously, we're not done. Now we proceed to the lids to kind of give it like a little more bam. So for the, for the crease, I'm going to go ahead with my two favorite colors on this palette. Gior Georgina and Gemini are literally the best colors on this entire palette in this entire palette i love them so much it's like ugh, like they're just so pretty oh my god i can talk i can talk about these colors on and on and on i know you're like i don't care but yeah they're just really pr freaking pretty i love these colors all right but back to what you came here for i'm gonna go ahead with my brush Spray some Fix Plus all over that. And I'm gonna start off with Georgina. I'm gonna go ahead and put that right on the lid. Mm. To top Georgina off, we are gonna go ahead and put some Fix Plus on a new brush. Go ahead with Gemini. Press glitter, oh, which I'm obsessed with. 
and I'm just gonna lightly tap it all over. Now down to the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead with 1988 again, put that at the bottom of my eye. Now, last but not least for the eye, we're gonna go with Liddy. I mean, why not, right? I'm gonna put it right there in the in the front, just a little bit to really kind of bring out. Oh my God! And um, yes, this is gonna be my eye. Period. That's all I have to say. So let's go ahead and proceed to the face. Now I'm gonna go ahead and swipe this off. For the face now, we're gonna go ahead and I am going to contour. For contour, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Kylie bronzer in the color Toasty. If I go ahead, start right here, put it right there on the side. Now to kind of deepen that contour, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier bronzer and kind of add some shine. Just gives me like a nice bronzy kind of, because I don't like to look too like, I don't know, it's weird. I like to kind of look done up but natural at the same time. Like, is there even a thing? I don't know. So I kind of just go over that with that. And that is what I do for contour. Next, we are gonna work on these brows. So I'm gonna use Morphe, and I use this in the color Mocha, the Morphe pencil. That is the wrong side, but we can use this to kind of lift up any. All right, guys, and that is what I do for brows. To set them in, I'm gonna go ahead with my Morphe brow gel. Yeah, lock those right into place. Now we are gonna move to blush. For blush, I use Kylie. We're uh, the color we're going shopping. I never used to use blush actually, but as of lately, I've gotten into it a lot more. It kind of gives me like an innocent vibe that I'm that I like really dig. So nose and that's gonna be my blush. Um, so next I'm gonna go ahead, put some lashes on. We're gonna finish off with highlighter, lip, and setting spray, and some commentary afterwards. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, I have put on lashes. I changed my top. Like, we are gonna pretend that we are going out because this is literally what I would wear if I was having a date night with my friends or with my boyfriend. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of the look. I have lashes on. For lashes, I use Kiss Lashes in the, um, the, net, the blowout kind and the posy. And for mascara, I used, um, oh my God, They're Real by Benefit. I'm like out of breath. What is going on here? Um, whew, all right. Next step, we are going to do highlight. For highlight, we are going to use none other than the queen herself, because obviously this entire look was inspired by her. So why not use her highlighter as well? Duh. I mean, on my nose. Cupid's bow. Mmm. And yeah, let's go ahead and um, before we do the lip, I want to go ahead and do my 
my body. So if we were going out, I kind of like to have a sheen here. I like to look very glowy and like dewy when I go out. So I would use Urban Decay Naked Illuminated with my Kabuki brush. I just put a little bit like all over the body, just like, cause you wanna look like nice and dewy, but not a lot, you know? So that's gonna be it for like the skin. Just put that on real quick. Um, so, oh, like the last part, guys. Like, I don't want this video to end. I had so much fun. Okay, I'm gonna be doing way more of these. This is so cool. So, for lip, last but not least, use the Kylie liner in Ice Latte. Kind of overline my lip to really bring that out. Uh, mm. So, that's gonna be the liner, and for lip, I'm actually gonna go ahead with the Kylie Bare Lip. Put that just a little bit on the top. I'm like sniffling. Oh, I hate that. Worst. Mm. Take my finger. Okay, so for setting spray, I use Galaxy Cell. Oh my God, I always get this confused. Met Metalist Galaxy Setting Spray by Touch and Soul, and it just like illuminates everything. Really like it. So over the face. But guys, this is my final look. Uh, oh, I'm gonna let go of the hair. And yeah, this is the final look. I mean, with this, I'd be ready for date night. Like this is like a good look to like do anything with, you know, like, so you have the earrings that like, don't take up, you know, like don't take that much because I really want the body to be like the main focus. Um, ah, uh, like I'm done. But I'm super excited, like I did this, I'm so proud. I love, 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 love this look. I feel like this is a look I would do all the time. Like honestly, this palette is absolutely amazing. Um, I'm super excited that I used it to do my first tutorial ever. And if you've watched this long, Thank you. Honestly, it was a it was a ride. I know. I literally I talk a lot. I was super nervous. I'm trying to get everything down and uh, to the nitty gritty. I promise for the next one it'll probably be shorter. But I like to ramble, so probably not. I'm gonna link this top down below. Um, I got this and my earrings from XIXI. I'll link that down below. My necklace, unfortunately, I got this a long time ago, so I can't link it down below. I mean, yeah, I like, you know, I don't want to end, so I'm just gonna like put on a little lip gloss. Kylie. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. I mean, like, now I have to end. All right, fine. But. Yeah, guys, I love you guys. If you really like sat there and watched this with me, thank you. And stay tuned for more. I'm super excited to bring all this to life and hopefully you come on the ride with me. With that being said, stay safe. Um, remember, stay inside, wash your hands, use gloves, hand sanitizer, and hopefully we can all be out soon and just live in the best life. I love you guys. God bless. Till the next one. Bye.